Hey everybody, uh, it is Jeff. We are over at Native Wings, me and Jesus. Uh, we're actually going to show you guys a whole lot of wings and we're going to let you guys join us today for our talk and we're going to talk about a few things, have a little bit of fun, talk about Marine Corps stuff that's coming up, talk about the different activities we do. And once he tries to find me on Facebook, I'm sure he unfriended me and blocked me somehow. You know, I did. he touched my butt, so yeah, no, I'm just kidding. He does have a cute butt. He, he's messed up in the head. Don't don't listen to what he says. He's got issues. Well, we're gonna go over the stuff we went over yesterday, but we're gonna do it over wings. You can't you can't argue with native wings. Everybody wants to know. I thought we'd go to a couple different restaurants, right? and also we're going to start. Or my weekly thing, we're going to go over one thing at a time. So is it leveled? It's not meant. Okay. So now I'm going to switch around. Okay. I, oh, I got Jesus on. Hi, Jesus. Okay. Is it still? Well, it turns like this. I got the main camera on now. Yeah. No, I got the main camera on and it's showing you and it's still me talking. There is a time delay. Look, look, there's a time delay. It's watching the time delay. Look, it's actually watching the time delay. We're watching the time delay. We're you're like space balls. You're here. You're now. Go, oh, space now. balls, dude. Awesome movie. Okay, time delay. Everybody, watch me. Look, I'm still talking on a time delay. Now is now. Now is now. And look, it hasn't even got to that part yet. So when it gets over to that part. I think. Okay. Oh, there it goes. It's turning. So what we're going to do... There you are. <laughs> oh, there okay. I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my little holder here. And then um, i got to figure out where it's actually at when I turn it back around. So we're going to eat these different kinds of wings. Give me a minute, everybody. All right. Because I was trying to go off of him. All right. We got him on there. Hold on there. Yeah, don't let him fool you. Did you want to tag Hastu's dog? Oh, no, he mean. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to have a conversation over wings. If I can do it right. And if I can get it set up right. Okay, there's Hastu's. I'm going to take it down here. All right, I want to show everybody what the wings we got right now today. We got all different kinds of wings. People never believe me when I say they got really good wings down at Native. Okay, those are those are my wings. That that's my appetizer. Uh, this is Jesus's appetizer before the real wings come. <laughs> Get in my belly. Get in my belly. In my All belly. right. So we are going to be eating wings, and if I look at the camera and I can see what's going on here, I don't know what's what here, but I'm going to try to minimize my mess. Just like everybody else did. And we'll tell you how the wings are. We got ghost pepper. We don't really care which ones we eat because they're not really hot to us. But they're good. And I did over to. Uh... Who did me? No. Still recording probably, but. Yeah, his phone sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. My SIM card on my phone with uh, Sprint been going out. All right. I guess we should have invited Luke down. <laughs> Luke didn't come out. We like to have fun, everybody. You know what? And that means we get to record our fun. We like to record our fun. There we go. I got one or two plates in front of me. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Hey, so what do we start? Well, let's just start with how our meeting okay. yesterday. Let's go down. We're going to feed the a little bit. There. All right. We'll let Jesus get started off. He'll talk about the stuff we went over in the Marine Corps meeting last first night. First time I have a wing first. Huh? First time I have a wing. Yeah, I get to eat. I'm starving. Okay, God, thank you for the food. Yesterday. Jesus didn't want to pray to you, Amen. so I did. God, I want you to remember, right. Jesus we'll didn't think of you when I did. Take that into consideration. When I come up to Pearly Greek, you're kicking the crap out of him. Last night, we have a wing first. See? We have a wing first. All right. All right, let's go. All right. So we're eating wings. This right here is a wing, and I don't know what kind it is, but it's good. 
Anyway, I'll let Jesus talk about um, yesterday's meeting at the Marine Corps League. We'll go into different events and activities they got coming up. We'll do a little legal shield stuff, but most of all, we just want everybody to join us for um, wings. I don't want to turn that down. I think that's the reason why. There we go. Sorry about that. We had the uh, thing in the background going on. Having a beer. Cheers, everybody who's watching. Yep. Cheers. Pansy butt over here is drinking water. I don't drink. <laughs> so, anyways, yesterday and, in I, our, and uh, I did show up at the firehouse last night after everybody left, and I was the only one that came over there. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, yeah, I was the only one over there, but that guy go in and I put two dollars down for one bottle of water, and I left. <laughs> the guy's like, "Oh, he ain't gonna give me nothing." No. But anyways, mm. yesterday, yesterday's meeting went quite well. We have a lot of things coming up this year. Um, we have a uh, boat regatta we're doing up at the Bet's home to help raise money. So uh, making sure everybody that's listening or watching. This might create that on Facebook an event to see who's going to go so people can know ahead of time that's going on. That could work. That could work. Um, it'll be during the summer when it's hot. We'll jump in the lake and have a good time. Um, we combined forces with the American Legion. Um, we're all going to work together for one cause, and that's uh, veterans in the community. So we brought that forward, and then everybody agreed, and so there we have it. Now we're just one big giant group divided by two doing the same thing. And here's our uh, <laughs> we're still getting our lady. Wings. She's getting rings already. It's strawberry hot. Thank you. Say hi to everybody in Facebook land. Hello. All right. Anything else you want to say? Are you guys? I don't know. Don't put me on the spot. Oh, you are on the spot. <laughs> hey, remember, I didn't put anybody on the spot this time. Was there anything I can grab you guys to mm, No, not right now. Just love, there. kindness, and satisfaction. Oh, wow. <laughs> so anyways, tell everybody to come to Wings and stuff. Yes, and come to Native and see us, guys. It's boring around here. <laughs> but the Wings are good. <laughs> we come here all the time. All right. I'll be right back to check on you guys. Sure. Few, okay? Appreciate you. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. So while I eat some Wings, Jeff's going to talk some more. I am? Yes, you are. They don't want me to talk. Maybe they do. Uh, what are some other things we went over in the Marine Corps League meeting yesterday? Um, our birthday ball this year is going to be bigger and better than ever. It wasn't really something covered too much. We had a lot to go over. I didn't get out until after 9 o'clock last night. Um, but we have a committee for that. We also have the Soapbox Derby coming up. I have a committee for that also. Um, we're going to be doing some stuff with the Adams County Fair different this year and also going to help kids and horses and getting a couple saddles. Um, lug nuts, we are going to be helping Charlie Ledbetter and the entire Lug Nuts team for their 20-year anniversary. Um, uh, the Legion has been doing it, the breakfast over at the Tin Dusters, and this year in October we'll do the Tin Dusters, September Lug Nuts, July, August time from Adams County Fair, July 25th. First, I believe, will be the uh, Cardboard Boat Regatta that we'll be doing. Uh, first weekend of June, we will be helping out with the um, Soapbox Derby along with the Legion. And we got a couple special reveals of some cars. Um, we also are going to be helping out with some of our volunteers and some money and stuff with Fishing for Freedom. Uh, one of our speakers didn't show up yesterday. We had a couple speakers not show up, uh, but um, we will be helping out with that. Um, in uh, March, oh yeah, we're going to have a couple takeover nights with the Coach House, Texas Roadhouse, IHOP, and of course our pancake and sausage breakfast at Apple. Um, that's why I've been using this phone for everything. Hmm? Alright. Anyway, well, that's Marine Corps League stuff. Um, there anything else I'm missing? Oh. The Tri-State Warrior Run Outreach Program with Glenn Swick. We're working on a couple new events for that. Um, we'll be working with a bunch of runners and stuff in Quincy also. Uh, we are going to be in the Dogwood Parade, St. Patty's Day Parade, Veterans Day Parade. Um, and we're going to bring our soapbox derbies into all those different things. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, what else is coming up? Uh, what am I missing? 
independent thinking. Huh? Basically, the reason why uh, we are actually kind of combining forces a little bit with the Legion, at no time have Marines ever acted alone. We always give each other, everybody gives, you know, they, they don't understand the military likes to debate each other, fight each other, but we do out of fun. And um, with all the suicides and with all of the, the guys out there that come back with legal problems, that come back and with... Um, PTSD, stress, and everything else, you know, we don't have an option anymore to stay with our separate groups. Now, the groups are always separate, but we don't have time to argue anymore about who's better than who, who's going to do what, because our brothers and sisters, all the way, going all the way back to World War II, World War I, if there's any, I don't think there's any still alive, uh, Vietnam, Korea, uh, First Gulf War, Second Gulf War, Afghanistan, Iraq, Kosovo, uh, the, the Pacific Theater, the Mediterranean Theater, you know, Central South America situation is down there. We, we don't have time anymore to not protect each other anymore. We've always had each other's back while we're in, and it's no different when we're out. So we're going to be working a lot so people know that our groups exist. They can join whatever group they want, but no matter what, we're going. they're going to find somebody that they can relate to or find somebody with the same issues they have so that we can work through issues. You know, the thing about military is we have a mission. It doesn't matter what that, what, who's on your team with the mission. What matters most with the mission is it, is it gets accomplished no matter what. Mission first. And right now, mission critical for those people that need, they need their brothers, they need their sisters. They especially need their communities. Like I tell everybody in my other videos, it takes a community to raise a child. Okay, when I mean, the communities break down, they no longer are helping each other out. The the entire family breaks apart. Okay, you know it's one thing to do things, but you need to know facts about stuff. PTSD kills 22 people a day. It's called the 22, and it's affected somebody in some way, shape, or form somewhere. But we're going to go further with it, and there's people that are non-military too. They have depression problems. They, they have suicidal tendencies. Um, they don't think they matter when they do. And you know what? The world of bullying, it, it's over with now. Because it's funny because I see, I see Hollywood, the government, politics, and people that say no bullying are the bullies. And they don't want to admit it because they want to look like they're the saviors. When actually, to me, the only thing I see is people driving a wedge between us and it's not the president and it's not it's everybody we all have to take responsibility and quit blaming somebody else for it it is my fault for the bullying in the world it is your fault for the bullying in the world and the second we take responsibility we can get back to the old way of it it's where there'll be a couple kids in high school that bully but those kids later on will grow up and be their employers and that's how it used to be but you want to know something everybody has friends in the end uh, do we know how to handle it do we know how to fix it nope because the people that say they know how to fix these problems are the ones creating the problem. And each one of us believes that. So, we do what we can, right? But wings are always good. So, so I'm going to bully these wings into my belly. Just so you know. Um, this week, with um, what we kind of do, with we help everybody. I'm going to start with something we do with Legacy. Now, Jesus is part of my team. And we do a lot with military, truck drivers, and stuff like that in the legal field. But let me ask you a question right now. This is going to be an everyday question. Every day we're going to go over something different. If you had the opportunity of calling a lawyer and knowing that the lawyer you're calling specializes in the field of law you're calling about, you know, how often would you call those lawyers? And the reason why I say that is Google never passed a law exam. I just want you to ask you a question. What would you do if you could call somebody up, not pay a dime? And it, it, this is not an advertisement. I just, I'm just really curious. Because everybody I know, they go to a lawyer, they get a 10 minute consultation, lawyers do nothing for them, and they don't get their questions answered. They go to Google, they get in trouble. But, you know, what if somebody were to have, you say you'd call anybody you wanted, no matter what state, uh, no matter what part of Canada, and get those questions answered? What kind of questions would you ask? I called my lawyer the other day and asked about eagle feathers. Kind of crazy, right? And my lawyer told me that they're federally protected. Don't touch them because you'll get in trouble if you grab an eagle feather. 
I didn't know. know that. Right. Well, I mean, we live in the Midwest. We're going to go down to the river and grab an eagle feather if there's one on the ground. But believe it or not, the feds do not agree with that. So, I'm going to eat wings now and let Jesus talk. <laughs> then we'll get off in a little bit. <laughs> but I want everybody to see you. I got stuff chewing them around. I don't even know what wing this is. This is another wing. Look at that wing. I don't know what's on it, but... Anyways, to his eagle feather story, he called his attorney. The attorney said, don't touch it. Whether it's on the ground or it's on the bird, don't touch it. I didn't know that. I would have just grabbed a feather off the ground. How many of you have done it before? Is he a pigeon feather or a sparrow feather? We, we always just pick it up. Now imagine if you pick up an eagle feather. Who would have known? You would have spent 10 to 25 in jail for a feather. So the legal system actually does help you out. They don't just, they're not out there just to screw you over. A lot of them are actually good people. They're out for your benefit and to help you out. Um, company Legal Shield that we work for, they're pretty good people. Um, like you said, it's not an advertisement, but if you don't have Legal Shield, you're missing out. Um, for pennies a day, you can have legal representation 24 7, seven days a week. You're going to call somebody, you're going to pick up your phone, call a lawyer. How much that cost you? An arm and a leg. You know, so Legal Shield helps out a lot knowing when you have somebody to cover your butt and knows your rights better than you do to help you out. So, Jeff's still enjoying his wings now, drinking some water, pansy butt. Oh, I just thirsty. salty. I'm eating the salt and pepper. Ah. Uh, those are good wings, though. What if uh, you're a woman and you're going through a divorce, your woman been abused, neglected, have a problem with the job? What if you could call up and get a female lawyer, female representation? Well, we handle that. In other words, you don't have to deal with guys. You can deal directly with the women because it's not a male-dominated world anymore. That's what his wife does. His wife handles ladies of justice. Because people don't like to speak out because they feel like they're not being listened to because they're a female. Well, we got rid of that tactic and now we do females for females. And nowadays we're talking about building a wall for the border, getting all the Mexicans out and whatnot. Well, what if you're a legal Mexican needing legal representation? We do it in Spanish. We help everybody out. It doesn't matter what color of skin and what language you speak. We can find you an attorney to, to help you out. Two law firms have nothing but uh, Hispanic, Latino lawyers that are there for the Latino community, the Hispanic community. Because a lot of times, uh, Latino and Hispanic, they're here legally or getting their citizenship. They feel like the system's broken against them or nobody wants to hear from them or they have to talk to a lawyer that doesn't speak their language and they feel their broken English is an embarrassment. Well, we took care of that. We actually have, um, all of our law firms can direct you to Spanish speaking in the field of law that you're trying to cover. So in other words, we help everybody. So don't be scared to sign up with Legal Shield. we'll help you. Or get a hold of us for information. You know what? Information is free. Information is not going to cost you a dime. And our lawyers are already paid, so they're going to help you the best they can. But you're not going to get one lawyer for everything. You're going to get a lawyer that's an expert in the field of law that you're calling about. In other words, a lot of people tell me, well, I've, my, my family's got a, I've got a lawyer. That's great. What are the, what's their expertise? What do you mean? They can only have one expertise. Maybe two. And then they'll tell me, I'm like, great, so our lawyers can cover everything else that your lawyer cannot, or your family lawyer will not. I had one person one time say, oh, we got a lawyer. It turns out they were in college to become a lawyer, and they were calling that their lawyer. Everybody's too happy nowadays. I mean, you've got to have some type of protection. Anyway. Let's see if Jesus wants to say anything else going to, uh, ooh, what else we got? These wings are amazing, I tell you that much. So if you're on the neighborhood, out and about, watching us on Facebook, come down to Native Wings. 
yeah, there's stressors going on till uh, I think four o'clock for the lunch. I'm not sure if it's three or four. But 69 cent wings. Order a bunch of them and have a good time. So come on down if you want to. Join us and we'll be here. Now, Asus also belongs to a legion, so if some people are like, whatever, they can join a legion. Now, a lot of people think they have to be military to join the Marine Corps League or legion. In the Marine Corps League, we found out, which we've already known, you can actually join no matter who you are. You just cannot have an officer position, but you're allowed to join. You'll be part of the auxiliary. And guess what? We can take all the veteran, or we can take all the people we can. You just got to be 18 years old. So if you know anybody, or you yourself want to come out, come join the Marine Corps League. We'll take anybody. As long as you're willing to help out the community and help out your veteran friends, come on out. We'll take you. We'll even help you find a job. We'll help you find, you know, whatever the stuff you need. We're going to be here for you. We may not have the money for everybody, but we can find what you need. Sometimes everybody thinks money's going to cure all the end all. That's not the case. Not only that, we might not have the money, but we might have some answers for you. Everybody's got questions. Everybody's always wondering, why can't I have that job? Why can't I do this? We might be able to help you. So think about it and hit us up. Heck, you could even join us for wings. Exactly. Come on down and have some wings and we can chat. And don't worry, Nerf guns are allowed. By the way, Jeffrey, I forgot my Nerf gun last night. I forgot mine too. I will get you though. I could have shot people out in the crowd last night. Sorry, we're politically incorrect on everything we say, do, or do. So we, we, we don't really apologize for who we are. We, we just don't judge each other for what we say because we are who we right. are. That's exactly. it. And you know, everybody's so politically correct. So, anyway, on that note, we're going to go back to eating our wings now. So, if you're out and about and watching this video, come on, join us. We're glad to have the conversation with you. We appreciate each and every one of you. We'll talk to everybody later now. Cheers. Bye now. Ooh, look at that. Look at all my wings I'm eating. Oh, and don't forget, you each matter, you each are important, and we love you.